society and society and conditioning. Society and conditioning brought to you by Bashar. Bashar, I'm going to call you out. You haven't even listened to one word of this man. I know. <laughs> no, not word. in a bad way. I'm not calling him out in a bad way. I know. But I'm calling you out because I want to talk to you. Because there's somebody that I think... You can that, talk to Bashar. I would love to talk to Bashar. Uh, Bashar is not... I mean, you can yourself do what Daryl Well, no. Well, uh, well, I already do that. That's why I want to talk to Bashar. That's why I want to talk to this person. Like, I, I, that's already where I'm at. Like, talk to them. I want to talk to them, like, from the perspective... I want to talk to... I want to talk to the Pleiades because fucking they're my homeboys. We have rollers rolling up on us. We got people rolling up on us, y'all. Fucking, but no. On this day, fucking April 21st, 2016, I would like to fucking, I would like to talk to these beings. Because I feel like we were all friends once. And I'd like to get to be friends again. Perhaps we're friends right now and I don't know it. What up, y'all? Fucking inhabiting this human inhabiting this human body. Again, come inhabit with me. What did you find? Grass. Glass? Put good energy into it and then throw it. I'm gonna give you guys a random piece of wisdom right now, whoever you guys are and whoever might be watching this. When you're young, you always wanna leave the place where you're at. You always wanna go out and be more and be something because when you're an adult, you'll have all these options readily available to you and everything will open up, and you, but at the same time, you don't wanna be an adult because in the words of Ali Sheedy in The Breakfast Club, when, you're, when you grow up, your heart dies. But when you're young is when you're, is, is the only time that you're young. For the next, for 25 years out of your, out of your 80, 90 years, years on this planet, you will, you will get to be young. And the rest of the time, the other 65, 60 something years on the planet, you get to be one way. And so it's like when you're young, you know, like the one kid I know that fucking actually watches these videos, when he, like you, you young kid that randomly subscribed to me fucking Ooh. two years ago, fucking don't want to be older than you are and don't want to have more and go do more and see more. Of course you want to see more, but fucking this is really as good as it gets. You know, the time that you have in high school just bullshitting with your friends and hating your parents and fucking skipping class or going to class, that's the best time that you have and it doesn't get better and it doesn't get easier. Right now you have the opportunity to learn for free. So fucking go learn something. Yeah, your fucking math teacher might not be teaching you anything. Your math teacher might be teaching you about box and fucking whisker plots if you even have a math teacher at all. You might be one of those packet kids that just fucking does packets all day. To which I say, I wish you'd made a, I wish your parents had fucking... Oh, I hate the packets, man. But... You have the opportunity to learn for free right now. You have the opportunity to go to the library and look at textbooks and shit. If you don't like your math class, skip your math class. Go to the library and learn, learn something you want to fucking learn. Educate yourself. Educate you still yourself. Can. Well, you still can. Exactly. Fucking because it's not going to be free forever and you're not going to have the time when you're older. Fucking. Whoop whoop. It's the sound of the police. <laughs> whoop whoop. That's the sound of the beast. And fucking. Everybody your age fucking hates the government. Everybody your age fucking hates their parents, hates the police, hates, hates their teachers, hates the fucking, hates everybody. But before they were fucking the police and they were your, and they were your parents and they were fucking the, your teachers and your, and your senators and whoever it was, before they were the people that were an authoritative figure to you that you dis, made you displeased, they were young like you. They were you at one point. Because we all start out in this thing new, you know? And at one point, there's a separation that's made. At one point, there's a, there's a point where you fucking, you let go of... Uh, are you going to be who they want you to be, or are you going to be who you've always been? Exactly, and why should you be... A, why, why, this man here, he, he points out that he hates the, 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 the expression, what do you want to be when you grow up? Because that, sh that indicates right now that the person you are, as, as a little child, isn't right. And right now, America, right now, youths, you are as right as you can be. You are, don't change You're fucking anything. Exactly 
You're always, thank you. You're always exactly who you are. And you're always exactly who you're meant to be. And if the fucking world doesn't think you fit into their little molds, tell them you don't fit, that they don't fit into your mold. And don't let your fucking spirit die. Don't let your heart die when you grow up. Because when you grow up, that's, that's who you are for the rest of your life. I'm 25 years old right now. I'm about to be 25. And when I was 18 years old, well, I was with this person and we were having a great time. But when I was 18 years old, I wanted to move to Portland. I wanted to go fucking see the world. I wanted to get out of this town. And now as an adult and I've traveled everywhere. I live in Spokane, by the way. And I've been all over this countryside now. I just fucking came back from California. I've been everywhere. Not everywhere, but I've been everywhere that counts, except for the East Coast. And I can tell you that there's not a town as cool as the town that I grew up in. And I'm sure a lot of people that lived in Portland eventually go back to Portland and find out that there's not a town that cool either. Don't fucking hate where you are just because it's where you are. You were raised here for a reason. And just because those people, that those authoritative figures that you fucking hate tell you are the ones that chose you to be, be here, remember that before they were the way that they are now, they were just like you and they had a mind like yours. I had a teacher tell me one time, a teacher, I was the principal of my high school, and I call him out, by the way, his name was Mr. Hiddle at Central Valley High School in Spokane Valley, Washington, and when I was 18, I went back, I dropped out of high school as a junior, when I was 18 years old, I went back, and I, and I, I, and we talked about the, 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 the random delinquency, delinquency, you know, that I'd exhibited as a, as a child, as well as, you know, the person that I was with at the time. We talked about that. And he said to me, he said, but you know, high school is not about finding yourself. High school is about conforming to society. And I about shit my pants because I couldn't believe that a fucking teacher was going to actually tell me the secret that they were going to admit it plainly face to face with me, which almost, you know, shams me out against myself. But remember that. That while you guys are in these classes, at these high schools, being taught, they are not teaching you for the fact because they want you to learn. They are teaching you so that you grow up to be one of these mindless consumers that employed them and decided that they were a better teacher than the good teachers out there that don't have jobs and have to be truckers and shit. And you kids that are taking the packets, you packet contract-based learners, realize that all they're trying to do is take away your ability to fucking your 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 experience from you and dulling it out and saying and make telling you that you don't have to learn anything as long as you can fucking pass this test you are you are good enough to be an adult and yes okay i have met people that never went to school that don't even know how to read and they are more equipped to be fucking adults than a lot of the adults are right now but simultaneously they are trying to fucking die, d- nullify and fucking smother out any spirit of learning and any spirit of growth in you before you've had a chance to to spread your wings. They don't want you. Here's the secret, kids. Fifth grade, beyond fifth grade, anything you learn is really just bullshit. It's the same thing over and over. It's the same thing over and over again. And it's why me and my my counterpart here fucking dropped out of high school. But you know what? We went to college. If you're poor, college is free. And fucking, and this is random, run of wisdom brought to you by a girl named Patches who fucking, in the words, in the, in the, in the world, the eyes of the tax man, fucks my life up. But I didn't fuck my life up, kids. I might be a homeless person that, you know, sleeps outside and, you know, shits in public places occasionally. I might be somebody that smokes weed and fucking knows how to, you know, I think it's pretty apparent. I don't think I need to mention it, but I might be somebody that by their standards is unsuccessful. I went to college several times. I could have gotten several degrees. I was actually going to be a fucking teacher. I was going to be a high school teacher. I went to the program to do so. Fucking, but I'm more successful than most people. I don't have a single material possession really, other than what you see right now. I have a few material possessions that are, that are kept very sacred to me because of the energy contained within them. But mostly I've got what you see right now. I wear this shirt every day. And if I don't wear this shirt, I have a jacket that I put on. But mostly it's just this shirt. The way you see me now is the way that I am when I have the choice to be so. And I found the secret to fucking nirvana, you guys. I found out. I found the secret to life. Because I didn't spend my life fucking working for the man. I didn't spend my life wanting to have more money so I could buy more stuff to put into a little box 
that isolates me from the world. People are fat and they wonder why they're fat when it's like we were made for walking and the moment we decided we needed something to get us there faster for what, who the fuck decided by the way that we needed to go faster? The moment that they made this fucking, that they made contraptions to get us places quicker is the moment that we began to grow fat. The moment we decided killing the animal and fucking cooking it takes way too long. We need to have somebody else do it and somebody else prepare it for us so we can eat more frequently. It's the moment we got fat. Our legs were built so that we could walk on them. And it was the need to consume and the need to store items that led to the homes. Convenience. The convenience. Fuck yeah. I'm getting off subject right now. But this is just random wisdom brought to you by fucking dropout burnout of the fucking 21st century. Class of 2009's Go Ask Alice. Oh, did you see that? He had a mouse. He's huge. He is huge. The, the camera saw him too. Fucking go outside and notice the birds, kids. Before, I had MySpace when I was your age, but before I had fucking MySpace, you know what I did? I called my friends on the phone. And we talked on the phone, or I went over to their houses and we hung out. We didn't FaceTime each other. We didn't Snapchat each other. We didn't fucking MySpace IM each other stupid pictures that somehow indicate how we're feeling. We didn't use memes to tell people our fucking innermost secrets. And yes, you can hide behind a meme all you want, but just own up. Fucking... I was a little girl that had to walk two miles in the snow to get to my bus stop, and I enjoyed every fucking second of it now. Of course, I didn't enjoy it then, you know? I was fat. First of all, so you can't really enjoy anything when you're fat. But like, when I was your age, we fucking, we, we went outside and we exp- explored. Not from the comfort of our homes oh, on Google shit. Earth. Did you do, what did you do? Here, hold on, we're gonna, do that again. <laughs> yes, you did. Woo! Let's